What happens when a liver tumor involves the bile ducts? Let me explain. Because this is one of the most complex scenarios we face in liver surgery. Many bile duct cancers called cholangiocarcinomas start in or near the hilum of the liver. That's the junction where the right and the left bile ducts come together before draining bile out of the liver. Now, here's the tricky part. If the tumor is located at this junction, even if it is 3 or 4 centimeters in size, it may block the bile flow from half or even three-fourths of the liver. To remove this tumor completely, we also have to remove the part of the liver that drains into the involved duct, even if the liver tissue looks completely completely normal. For example, if the tumor involves the right bile duct and the confluence, we often end up removing almost three-fourths of the liver, the entire right half and part of the left. That's not all. Once that part is removed, we still need to restore the bile drainage from the remaining liver. That's where the procedure called hepaticojejunostomy comes. It's a type of biliary reconstruction where we take a loop of the small intestine and directly connect it to the remaining bile duct so bile can continue to flow into the gut. This step is delicate. The bile ducts can be tiny, fibrotic or inflamed. Any leak can lead to infection. Patients may need drains or stents to keep it open safely. So yes, when the bile duct is involved, the surgery becomes major, even if the tumor itself looks small. But with proper planning and experience, these surgeries can offer long-term survival, even potential cure. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with hilar cholangiocarcinoma, ask the right question. How much liver needs to be removed? Who is doing the reconstruction? Is the center experienced for these kind of surgery? The right approach makes all the difference.